Dear students, now that we know that logarithms are extensively used in economics, uh, we need to understand about the rules that can be applied in order to solve the logarithmic functions. Let's get started. As you can see, we have uh, started with the first rule of logarithms. The first rule is related with the uh, logarithm of a product. As you can see, if I have two values or functions that are being multiplied, we have a product. If we calculate the log, if it is log to the base 10 or natural log, ho, it doesn't make much difference. Their solution is similar. For example, what I would do, logarithm, pali value ka jamma, logarithm, dusri value ka. So in this way, I can calculate the logarithm of a product which is equal to the individual logs and definitely their sum. So, uh, an example hai aapne saamne, 10 or 100 ko humne zarab kiya hai aur iska hum log calculate karna cha rahe hai, log to the base 10 aur uh, isko hum uh, separately bhi al kar sakte hai, isse hum 1000 lik sakte hai aur isko hum as it is lik kar, ab calculator use kar sakte hai aur inki values ko note kar lenge aur hum dekhenge the answer is the same. So, this is verify that the log we have learned it is uh, holding true. Now, we should also come to the economic instance. Or in economics, mein, there are many functions where we can apply the logarithmic law of product. However, if I talk revenue, ke baat karun, revenue is a product of price or quantity. And if we calculate natural log, calculate kare, natural log of price plus natural log of quantity. So, in this way, I can apply this law on an economic function as well. Now let's talk about the second log and that's when we are confronting with a quotient jab hum quotient ka log calculate karna chahe. Jaise aap dekh rahe hain ab do functions ka ya do values ka quotient hai jiska hum log calculate kare. So natural log of x minus natural log of y. So uh, product mein hum plus use karte the aur hum quotient mein ab minus use karenge that's the only difference. Aur ye natural log aur log to the base 10 dono pe equally applicable hai. Iska ek numerical example aapke samne hai 10 ko hum agar 100 se taksim kare, we'll get 0.1 and this value will remain the same. Ab hum calculator use karke, inki values ko note karke, verify kar sakte hain, ki kya left hand side is equal to right hand side and yes it is, they are equal. It means that law is holding true. Economic instance, agar hum baat kare average cost ki, to average cost is the quotient of total cost and the output, jaysay aap dekh sakte hain, or if I write it in natural law ki form, mein likhunga, I will write it in this way. So here again, uh, it is helping us maybe if required in any economic situation. Now logarithm of power is also one of the rules that, that can be used as we will see. Just if we have a value or function ka, uh, logarithm calculate kar rahe, that appears with the power which we have shown from P. Se so, we will write the power first and calculate natural law of the function. Just as you can see. Both are equally applicable. Natural log and log to the base 10. Example, you have this. If we calculate this thing, we have taken 2 first and we have log of 10. Ko calculate kiya. So, if I have a calculator, log of 100 is this. 2 will remain the same. Log of 10 is 1. Which is equal. Which is an equality established. This means that this law we have studied is also holding true. Now the thing is economic application. ये हमारे पास production function है अगर मैं इसका natural law calculate करूँ Cobb Douglas production function का, तो आप देखेंगे इस case में मैंने product वाला rule apply किया because k और l दोनों multiply हो रहे हैं, इसका मैं log calculate कर रहा हूँ, so product वाला rule मैंने apply किया जो rule number one था, और अब मैं apply करने लगा हूँ power वाला rule जिसमें मैं power को पहले ले आया हूँ alpha को और beta को before the function, और हमने इसको इस तरीके से लिख लिया. So basically, what we have made is that is the log linearized uh, form of the Cobb Douglas production function, which is extensively used hota hai in economic analysis. This is how we can understand and apply the laws of logarithm on mathematical as well as economic functions. Thank you.